Hello guys and welcome to episode 86 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Prussia, going for world domination. Today we have to attack the Marath Confederacy once more. Previously we played out two rather large battles. It ended up with Bartholomew's class's army getting absolutely obliterated. A really fun battle though, so definitely worth checking out if you missed it. Uh, but Gabriel Gutman has work to do today. He's currently waiting here so that he can defend the bridge, stopping them from coming across and attacking uh, Nerun Kot. But now we can get our troops out of Nerun Kot and we can move down the road uh, towards these other forces. So that's what we're going to start by doing today. Uh, I don't know how the balance of power is so close, but we're going to have to play it out. It might just be because of the elephants. Uh, we'll be on our way to capturing Gujarat soon. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it this turn because these attacks are probably going to use up quite a lot of movement range. In the previous episode, we just lined up our guns like this and fired away, and it seemed to work quite well, so I'm going to do it again. I don't need to be too worried about spreading out my troops because they don't have any guns of themselves. We'll just keep the formations tight and protect our flanks. And that is about it. And the deployment there. We just want to hit the general bodyguard there, which is the elephants. Just annihilate them almost instantly. <laughs> that was crazy. Just volleyed them. Now we just got to wait on the reinforcements. Okay, so they do have some artillery. Two bar gear and the foot artillery. I'm going to have one of my cav units move to the flank. Because they'll likely try and move forward to the bar gear and leave the, the artillery behind. And then we can just have the cav quickly run in there and destroy them. I'm going to just limber these up. Reason being is I'm going to group up all of my troops, shift them to the left. So I might not have time to do that. Make sure we just have them a bit closer. They left their artillery behind, right? Oh no, there it is. And limber the artillery. Fire away. Oh, they're actually attacking my cab here. Rude. <laughs> that unit just got deleted. Very good. Go to round shot. Shoot the general's bodyguard. Have my general chase down one. And the dragoons chase down the other. And again, I don't know if I want to charge in front of my cannons just yet. Let's just stop these from moving forwards and we'll grab the cannons keep them firing at least we have just taken out the cannons back there oh, 
Oh, the general's dead. Uh, let's stop the howitzer from firing. Did I just shoot my general? I did. That was lucky I didn't kill him. And I had turned them off, but they fired one more volley. Huh. Well, we destroyed the rest of the elephants anyway. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was lucky I didn't kill my, my own guy there. <laughs> Let's take it out those two. We'll just take out this army as well. It's going to be mostly Bargia. They have some Polygar. They've got some Rajput Zaminda and also the elephants. Let's go. Lots of small battles today. India really, really on the back foot. They're not going to be able to build enough troops in time anymore. Because while we were moving through like Afghanistan and stuff, they could pump out units from every settlement every turn really quickly but we've taken a couple of their really good settlements now so i can't really do that anymore but we'll do the same strategy again here it seemed to work relatively well again when we outnumber our enemy it's just quite an easy strategy That's the Rajput Zamindad taken care of. It's completely gone. Right, let's have these wheel in. Some really good canister. And that is some amazing canister as well. Damn. Right, we're gonna put normal shot into the polygar. And hopefully we can kill off most of them. Looks like some of them are going to get away in this battle. We'll kill off as many as we can. Take out these guys, lovely. Yeah, 
getting lots of nice experience on our troops. I think this gives them experience anyway, all of these kills. I think they technically do class as kills for the unit. That one man over there, we'll just send it. Otherwise we're going to have to wait for him to run off. Good. Alright, and they're going to fall back to Gujarat. Nice. So, we're going to have Philip Mooring go into Niron Kot, and we'll have Emmanuel Deermissen move up here. Let's have a quick look around. There's a bunch of settlements, and you can see that they've kind of like split their forces in between all of them now. Which is good for us. No extra forces down here. Yeah. It's good. Really good. All right, let's continue through our turn. Uh, we do have our army moving to the Americas. We have this fella we can ignore. I've got Patrick Stolberg. I'm going to be moving around toward Quebec. Uh, this fella, we're going to get his army fixed up. And we're going to recruit a new general that can take us to these settlements. Although we are technically, or have already, built another army here. Before I forget, I am going to put my agent on the ship. And we want to get a new general. Friedman Loder, really not as good as the other generals I got previously. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get all of these on here. And this was a third rate that I sent over to escort, so that's fine. We can go over to the Americas with these guys. Okay. Got some more Gorkas ready to go. I might just leave them in Kashmir for this turn, in case these guys come for us. Oh, I had these forces as well. Oops. <laughs> I left them behind. Okay. Right, this army is fully replenished. Uh, let's go take Chikasa. And we have these guys who are ready to catch up. We do have Dietrich Budius ready to move out of Hindustan. I'm going to just leave some forces behind. So we'll leave behind the company of tree and Sepoys. And we'll carry on with our elite forces. I might even go ahead and recruit some more troops here in the meantime. Let's get some company cav, company infantry. Uh, we'll throw in, let's see, maybe a cannon or two. Yeah, we'll do two cannons and another company infantry, or another two company infantry. Okay, and then we can go and take out this army. And we'll continue running down here. So, what are we going to need to put here? We've got Pleasure Gardens already. There's a steam powered column mill. This is wealthy, so we'll put a craft workshop in there, and so is this one. We'll do the same once we get the money. Good. Anything else to do? Uh, we have. Troops in Caracas. I think we're done. Still blockading. Uh, 
Let's now go into agents. Keep an eye on things down here. So yeah, they do have quite a lot of ships. This is why I haven't really invaded by by ship yet. Because it's kind of pointless. Like even like by the time I build the steamship, we're gonna be like halfway down the coast here. So <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Although what I can do is move it to this port and then we can go from that port. We can just jump in here and take Bajapur and uh, also Amang Ahmad Nagar. That's fine. Go and check Nagpur. I think there. It's fine. We need to take care of this guy. Our missionaries can move themselves. I'm pretty sure I already gave them orders. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. There won't be half as many Maratha Confederacy armies to watch this time, which is nice. They are going to be building up at good to that. I might even have the range to attack Kashmir. Alright, yeah, it's going to be some crazy siege battles against <laughs> the Maratha Confederacy, and they are moving that navy around. I'm not even sure we're going to get away with using our steamship. Okay. <laughs> they are going to go for it. They've got four men on camels and 12 rocket artillery. <laughs> oh, this is the most silly attack ever. But we're going to have to play it out because it'll probably order resolve in their favour as well. <laughs> if a rocket hits right, it could actually rout my Falakam scissories. <laughs> I need to be kind of careful with this. Weirdly enough. I'm just gonna sally forth. It'd be funny if they then came out behind us. I don't think so though. These ones are gonna go through the gate. <laughs> Lovely. Well, they actually got off. Okay, I mean, that's even better for us, I guess. Line up and shoot them. <laughs> this is the most silly thing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Okay, cool. <laughs> At least it destroyed the army. I was half expecting like the the rocket band to like still be fine. <laughs> or at least, you know, survive with like the seven men. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh get by Quebec's capital. And did I not move my army up there? Did they get like blocked or something? Oh yeah, I need to fix my ports. I completely forgot about that. I'm gonna be like hemorrhaging money because I didn't fix up any of these ports. <laughs> Oops. I keep moving into my ports and destroying them. I have a steamship now, that's cool. Oh, I didn't do this attack either. <laughs> I'm just forgetting things. It doesn't really matter that much. Alright, let's uh... Let's get this fixed up. I'll we'll just pop a craft workshop in there. Another one in New Andalusia, cool. I think we'll just pop a church score in here, honestly. Technology stolen. Gentleman successful. Very nice. Steal another one, please. I will take rights of ban. Sir. 
tactical retreat. Oh, I know why. Yeah, because the United States took Quebec, so it pushed my forces out of there. Uh, we could request military access, honestly. So that I can get round to Montreal. My fleet's arrived with another army. Uh, let's just into the port here, I think. I could actually take this. I might as well. Let's order resolve that. Oh, it didn't capture it. That sucks. It's fine. Right, let's uh, go ahead and drop in there and get my army out and we'll head down towards Maine. Maybe it's just time to declare war on America. I'd need another army here though, really. Uh, we don't care about that. They raided this. That fleet arriving is fine. We've got tactical retreats for both those armies. Finally got the roads in Brussels. <laughs> they were very behind. That's good. Okay. Alright, let's head over here and we'll get on with this attack before I forget. Uh, we will just jump on in because they won't take the surrender. And this should be the end of Grand Columbia, which will remove those annoying ships that we've been having to deal with. And we'll just kind of walk up, I think, towards Panama. Or I could jump on the ships again, but I don't know if that'd be quicker. I can check after this. And there is a fort we're going to take out, so... I think this corner is actually the best corner. I just need to get closer before we deploy our cannons. So we'll just deploy in the trees over here so we don't get shot by the walls. And we'll just move forward slowly towards them. I do have Final Calm Scissoring outside. Which is interesting. Speed things up. See if uh, Friedman Ettinghausen's uh, follow up guy can uh, do as much as well, I guess. <laughs> was a term I was trying to think of there, but <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, the dragoons will show themselves first. Be a scary, scary presence. This is going to be a lovely target for the Howitzers, though. Once they get in position. So once we get out the trees, our cannons will start moving faster, thankfully. Just going to move the Dragoons out of the way because it makes it easier for the cannons to go through. Up by the wall. Uh, let's just deploy them here. There's guards on the wall. They've got their bowmen on the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure that's uh, 
going to work too well. I say that and then they start shooting me. <laughs> I am too close at the moment. I might want to stop firing at this wall, to be honest. So that we can keep hitting them with the howitzers, because we're doing a lot of damage. target something like this Firelock Arm Cicery that's like in the middle of them. That way even if technically they miss they'll hit other units. This is annihilating them. Some really good shots into these guards, that's what we need. Just these this clump of men right here. Oh, there's one. A couple more of those and we'll be good. Alright, let's just take down the wall. And we'll limber these up. Get into position. Sure, if we're going to be able to get any shots over there, we'll just keep targeting the ones on the walls for now. Tribal Auxiliary. Take us out. We're all good. Keep knocking him down. Good. All right, let's uh, limber up again. Move a little bit closer because we're not as close as I'd like to be. This way we can actually fire through the breach. And that one man stood there on his own, took so many shots to the face. I was still able to do a lot of damage with these houses, it's nice. Uh, let's just line up here and shoot them as they come out the gate. I think that's pretty much it. With our unit routing or wavering on top. We've got the General's Bodyguard trying to come out. There's the artillery and two lots of file like scissory. So I think we'll just kind of run through the breach now. Just get these guys inside.
Good. Let's take these out. Thank you very much. Ooh, okay. Gonna have to run at these guys and engage them. Just need to make them all rout. Good, there we go. I think that's victory. End the battle there. Howard's has really carried us to that battle. That was really nice. Let's see how many kills they got. Oh, I was actually mostly 12 pounders. I'm surprised they didn't get more, unless that's not counting correctly. So that's Grand Columbia destroyed. It was fun while it lasted for them. Uh, this turn we can just get back out of here, I think. I should have left some troops behind. I was actually hoping we could get to the port this turn, but apparently not. Uh, what I'll do is send one of these back. Unless I can just exempt it. Uh, we'll send one of these back, that should be enough. If it's not, then I can just recruit another unit here. I should do the trick. This is worth a lot. Um, when we tax it, it's going to be 1,022. Fix up our trading port. And then I have my neat, my like steamship now. We'll move that round. I think the steamships have like longer range. I'm actually going to demolish this. Because I want to get my trade going. Although this is a gem shaft. There is coffee here. Yeah, so we, w we will want a uh, trade. A trade place. So we've got the commercial base in. This is mostly gold and silver though. So I don't think we need to actually trade that. Okay, over to Emmanuel Dearmesson. Time to attack Gujarat, I think. It's going to be a bit of a hefty battle. Well, actually, we should probably have Emmanuel Dearmesson... Hmm, I was going to say attack this army, but... Hmm. Not sure. I actually think Gablu Gutman is has a better army for sieging because he has more guns. So I think maybe I take this out and then we move up here. Yeah, we'll use Gablu Gutman first to take Ahmedabad. And then we can see if we can get our other army close to uh, Udapur. Okay, let's jump on in. So this will be another massive army taken out, as well as some of the reinforcements as well, which is nice. Just got to be a bit careful about selling forth because we've got the same issues as before now. Uh, like it's okay when we're doing like an infield battle because I get plenty of time to shoot them with the canister and stuff before they get close. But with this, if I don't play it correctly on the corners, we can really get caught out. So I'm just going to be careful. I might not actually breach the corner until we're in position. Then again, if I do that, they'll keep shooting us from the walls. And technically I can have like one close. That could be bad if it manages to hit us. Just hope it misses. I've got to be careful of the cav that's running about out there. Let's move my cav into position.
Imagine being that poor guy that just had that land on his head. <laughs> it's like that one shot from the mortar that actually hits. I guess somebody's got to be unlucky. Okay, we'll unload these. Change them to carcass. Start hitting the bar gear on the walls. These can unload. I'm going to start smashing the corner here. That was only one volley. I think I'm just going to blow it up. There we go. Because there was quite a lot on the corner there, so that should have killed quite a few of them for us. Right, with that done, we're going to limber up these ones. This one has relatively good range. I mean, I'm still going to limber it up. We're going to make sure our flanks are defended. There's those camels looking to come play. Right, we're going to want to have a couple units here. Or one unit here. One in between. Canister like towards one side of this bridge. They're actually still firing at us from the wall. So I'm gonna have to destroy that wall, I think, as well. That's very weird, like usually they don't stay up there. Okay. <laughs> I'm there's a gab unit is sat there. Right, they're starting to come out to play. And if we just hold our range here, we'll be fine. annoying that they've engaged them. And they haven't all come out yet. <laughs> Let's get them back on the guns. One unit behind, I think, is sniping a lot of these cab for us, which is good.
Uh, box them in. <laughs> Good. But the other thing that I should be doing is just have, like, my mortars fire here. Right, we've managed to deal with this okay. They've got more reinforcements coming in from the left, though. to get on top of my cannons there. Okay, let's get them back on the guns. At least the guns are in position. I think I'm going to dismount my cav. these help on the left here. A lot of cavalry right now. My Grens are going to be pretty good at taking out a lot of these guys. Did I just, like, canister my own guys? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Whoops. Counter charging the cab. <laughs> oh, is that the majority of their forces taken care of? I think it is. A lot of that cab will probably end up coming back. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's just kind of annoying. This is part of the reinforcing army, so I'd want to kill it off if I can. Okay. Well, it looks like the majority of the units that are going to sally forth have sallied forth, and this has gone a bit better than I expected, which is good. So let's just try and hit this one on the wall. That's an easy target for the mortars. Meanwhile, we'll have the line infantry here. Just try and go inside. Hopefully, that will provoke them to come at us. We'll be ready with the cannons. Alright. Here goes. Round two. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> My houses are actually doing a good job there. Yes, they were. Let's target the guys inside now. As so we're currently just annihilating these fellas. Oh, 
All right, let's do it again. I, mean, I could get on the walls now and just push in that way. Seems like this might have worked. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the walls. So this way we just climb up and we shoot down on them. Seem to have had some guys run down. Okay, that's fine. Stop that from firing. Oh yeah, I forgot I got my dragoons off their horses. I actually sent them up on the walls as well. Oops. Fine, we'll just uh, go and take out the others over here. Uh, let's leave this one to engage behind. Right, we're going to want to run these down ASAP. Okay, that's it. That's army losses. Fantastic. That went actually probably as well as it could have. Yeah, we definitely took out a lot of them with that canister shot. Okay, let's fix all of this up. Take the great ashram out of there. And we're going to can't come down here. It's annoying. I can use this one though. I'm kind of tempted to throw one of these forces onto the ships. But then if I do, I'm not going to have another force to replace it. Technically, I think we have this force chase these guys down. This force, if we have it remain on the edge, I think replenishes next turn. And then they can maybe go for Udipur, and then we have Emmanuel Dirmis and jump on the ship. So there's T here that we're now exporting. We'll just make this into a fisherman's port. Should be fine. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So yeah, we managed to take good of that. That was nice. Uh, we're going to be heading towards Calcutta, which is good as well. We've got an army ready and waiting to attack Udapur. Hopefully I can reach that next turn using their raids. I've got to clean up a bunch of these armies, but other than that, we're getting very close to the rest of mainland India. We've got our force here that can probably just jump and take Panama, so that's good. 
yeah and then we'll be starting our war with the US <laughs> it's gonna turn into like man in the high castle where <laughs> the uh, Americas obviously has America and then like Germany has Europe and obviously we've already taken all of this so there we go <laughs> but yeah interesting alternate history boys that's it for now hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you for much watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye yeah,